formed itself and became something else and you know so yeah I would say that's probably one of the special most special things that kind of has came from sound healing as community and tribe and we don't get to see that a lot as black people in community like I didn't see nobody doing sound healing and doing yoga and breath work so like now to be a part of that representation and bringing it to my community is like it, 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 it's indescribable how important is representation? Super fucking important. And I'm saying that from a little girl who wanted to be white. Like, I saw white girls on my TV. There were little white girls that I went to school with that the black boys wanted. And I thought I was too dark because my family, you know, had lighter complexion. And, you know, I struggled for a very long time. And not that there wasn't representation, but the representation, like, y'all remember the Just For Me commercial? Like, mm -hmm. and I do. you remember that, right? Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. had that kinky hair. Mm. And I was like, my hair needs to be straight, like, little white girls, though, because that's what they check it for. Like, at that young age, like, yeah. I had to have my mother literally buy me black Barbie dolls. Like, I want you to see that you are just as beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had that. So, being able to have that and just grow up and be able to see, like, powerful women in position from teachers and doctors and lawyers and all of those things was representation. Mm -hmm. And because we are so we're so far removed that they try to remove those things or make it seem that it's unattainable for us. Yeah. You know, it's just like, no, it's actually within my reach because she can do it and she can do it and she can do it and she looks just like me. Mm -hmm. My hair, just like me. Natural body, just like me. Yeah. You know? And this builds your image. It builds it, yeah. Yeah. So after redefining who you are your image how did you find yourself or is that still a journey that you're going through so we're never finding ourselves okay. we are always remembering mm -hmm. we are just getting back to remembering who we are mm -hmm. um and i feel like that's always going to be forever you know that's going to be a forever journey but right now i definitely would say i've been in the thick of it okay. um i Take your time. Take your you time. Know? <laughs> like, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Um listen, you know, it's been a it's been a it's been a journey for me. Okay. And um I have been I have died and came back to, to life again and you know been reborn mm -hmm. and the versions of myself that are here, you know, or have left, you know, so I'm I'm grateful to be where I am today, mm -hmm. you know, but I know that there is a whole lot more to go. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about your relationship with mom. With my mommy? Mm-hmm. Ooh, <laughs> Chrissy from the block. What's up? What's up, mom? Um, she, seems, she seems like an anchor within your life. You know, my mother and I have had a very complicated relationship as mm -hmm. I have grown. Yeah. Um, you know, regular mother-daughter shit and some real complex and deep shit, you know, and that's for another day. Mm -hmm. um, but where we are today, yeah. I'm going to talk about today. Today we are in a space of healing. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is the first time that my mother has truly been able to really see me mm -hmm. and see that I've been healing, you know. Okay. She's seen me in the most lowest points of my life, yeah. um, you know, and uh, I think that... Uh, She's proud. I'm proud of her. You know, when you when you're a kid, we yeah. think that our parents are supposed to have it all figured out. Yeah. You yeah. know, we're the answers. We're the answers. <laughs> and when they fuck up, it's like, nah, nigga, you don't get to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. you're the parent. Like I'm the kid. Yeah. And it's just like as we get older, it's like, oh damn, you was the kid too. Because I'm 30 and I'm still. I'm not 30 yet. Wait a minute, I'm 29. <laughs> <laughs> she said deny. Deny that. Um, <laughs> and you, you have this resentment and anger, you know, for mistakes. And, you know, when you get older, you just realize, like, damn, yeah, they were kids too. Like, you know, like, mm -hmm. nobody has it all figured out. We're yeah. all still figuring it out. And then there's that inner child, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think where my mother and I are today, I'm seeing the 14-year-old girl, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. had to be an adult because my grandmother died. And it was just me and her. Mm -hmm. So, 
you know um i see that she has a lot of healing to do and i see that she wants to do it mm -hmm. and to be in that space you know it's the difference between uh you know effort and someone like still trying to hold on to you without maintaining any boundaries mm -hmm. so i see the effort and you know so i'm grateful so yeah mommy definitely has had a lot of impact on the woman that i am today have you ever extended a hand to your mother to help her pick herself up? I have. What does that look and feel like? Um, now that it's received, uh, seeing it, like I, I held my mother while she was like crying, you know. Um, I realized, like, I didn't, I didn't even realize, but like, my mother struggles with vulnerability. I struggle with vulnerability when it comes to intimate relationships, you know? Um, so to see that woman be vulnerable like that in front of me, like crying, like she was my child and I was just holding her and like offering her love, offering her space to be because I know that it can be heavy, yeah. you know? Um, and it felt good, it felt weird. Um, and not weird in a bad way, but like weird, like damn, like we here, you know? Um, yeah, it felt like a long time coming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, it's Mental Health Monday. It's Mental Health Monday. And you are the wellness representative. Okay. Now, what are your feelings towards wellness? Not just what you do when you show up with the bowl, but wellness in terms of the concept itself? Um, well, listen, let me know if I'm answering the question. You'd be like, that's not the answer. I mean, I just, I just want to hear your thoughts. It's okay. just about the thoughts. Okay. just about the thoughts. Yeah. Um, wellness. Mm -hmm. I think that um, I'm grateful that it has become so um, widespread, mm -hmm. right? Um, Give me examples of widespread. I mean, in the sense of like everything that's being offered, you know, like we were saying, yoga, mm -hmm. sound healing, people taking care of their bodies, yeah. um, mental, you know, mental health, you know, people going to therapy, like all of those things are no longer appearing as a stigma, mm -hmm. as the way that it did before, because you know everybody was eating Mickey D's and mm -hmm. you know just mm -hmm. living life, and it was you know for the black community, we don't go to therapy because we ain't crazy, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, for a lot of them, that's still the case. And it is, you know, yeah. and um, I had, I was one of those black people, mm -hmm. um, but I was a little girl. I was just like, I ain't going to therapy, they crazy. I ain't crazy now, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm a lot of things, but crazy ain't one of them. Yeah. Um, and then I sat in the chair and I was like, okay, I can see how you say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's real. That's you know, real. Yeah. Um, but in the sense of like what it's done for our community, mm -hmm. like, you know, yeah. round of applause you know mm -hmm. and i think that what it really started with was the food and the mind mm -hmm. you know and i feel like once we started to really focus on that and really teach ourselves like and you know and, and that's people creating small farms and learning how to garden and grow their own food and cook food in the house rather than going to the restaurants yeah. you know um like we were talking about herbs like all of those things um all of this is a part of your wellness, self-care, wellness, you know? Um, so I think that when it's really focusing in being, not becoming so gimmicky mm -hmm. and like the popcorn shit of it, like, you know, when we talk about self-care, people like talking about like getting your nails done and going to get your hair done. And yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But like, are you just getting your hair and your nails done and you still ain't going to therapy yet? And yeah. like, you still, you know, eating trash food, like, that's not wellness. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's just cut, that's putting a Band-Aid on it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, so, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You answered the question. Okay, okay, I'll just say it. <laughs> I, like, saw the pause. I was like, oh, she's waiting. She's it? waiting on me. She's like, hey, did I, did I, did I do the thing? 